Even my son, he goes, Dad, you know, you're jeopardizing your legacy coming to this program. That challenged him. When people said, well, you know, you might, your legacy might be tarnished by this, he said, I'm going to come here and, and prove that BC can win. Blake Nill is one of Canada's best football coaches, and he was lured to UBC where the program was struggling on and off the field on the promise of being the head man of a revival, one that is augmented by a team of football alumni who put their sweat and money where their hearts are. To be successful at the university level in Canada, you need to have a, a head coach to create the culture. You need to have a strength coach to create the, you know, the athlete. And you need to have a group of backers that understand that, you know what, the, the university's funding doesn't go far enough. And that's where David Sadu and his fellow alumni come into play. Sadu was a Thunderbird during the 80s, playing on the field that now bears his name. The, the program in the 80s had student athletes that were smart guys, that were engineers, uh, business school people, um, entrepreneurs, uh, successful on the field and off the field. And most of us, if you interviewed us, would say that most of our, 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 our business acumen, our team concept, and our drive and passion came from when we played at UBC. To that end, Sadu's group, known as the 13th Man, is hoping to add funds that'll improve everything from the stadium itself to the team facilities. Anything to help give Blake Nill and UBC whatever edge it can get. I just want to make sure that the kids I bring into the program are all first, first class kids, good students. They'll fit the UBC culture here, but I want to make sure they're great athletes, ones that are determined, ones that are competitive, have a, have a mindset of a champion. And, and if I can get and mesh all that together, this is going to be a very, very unique situation.